Hello Bass family and welcome to Everything Bass. Today we're continuing on with the technical development series. This is unit seven. So you might be asking why so many fingering exercises? And I have a couple answers for that. One is um, each exercise tries to work out a different combination of finger movements. Uh, some, so you're not stuck in one muscle memory or a, a handful of muscle memories. That your hands will be, re your fingers will be ready to do almost any pattern that you could think of. Um, that's a barrier sometimes to being able to express the music you hear inside. Is you'll hear this cool bass line or a, a cool melody, and then you'll go to play it, and you don't have the physical ability to play it. Um, so this hopefully will will shorten that amount of time from inception of idea to execution of idea by being able to work out many different fingering exercises. Uh, secondly. If you're actively practicing, which I hope you are, um, one of the best ways to keep from getting burnt out uh, or bored with it is to not do the same exercise over and over and over again, but to um, mix it up, try a different routine. In fact, so this is the seventh um, technical development uh, unit. At this point, if this is where you are in the video and you've done all the, uh, the six before it, you could literally do one every day of the week. Um, even if you don't have time to practice a full practice, but you can set aside like 10 minutes to kind of just warm up. Just, uh, let's say Monday, you know, you start with technical development unit one, work that out, play that for about 10 minutes, and then go to work or do whatever you have to do. Next day, try number two and so on and so forth. That rotation is really good because each exercise works, is, works different um, combinations and patterns. So you're really preparing your hand to be ready for anything. So, uh, well, that's enough of it. Let's get right into it. So this is one of my favorite uh, finger exercises. It's very interesting um, the way it, it works out. So let me describe it to you. Uh, if you're a Patreon subscriber or you want to be a Patreon subscriber, uh, just go to patreon.com forward slash everything base and find technical develop or technique development number seven. And you can download the sheet music, uh, which is written in standard notation and tablature. So you can follow along at home. Okay, so we're gonna start with our friend, the first fret F. And we're going to play that with our index finger on our fretting hand. Then with the middle finger, you're going to play the second fret on the A string. And your ring finger is going to play the third fret on the A string, the C. Pinky goes back to the E string and plays the fourth fret. So that action looks like this. Now what I like about this pattern is these two fingers stay there. You're going to move the index finger up to the D string first fret. Then play the same two, three as you did in the previous pattern. And pinky goes now to the D string fourth fret. So that first measure looks like this. Now I like that because these middle fingers are staying constant. They're not moving, but your index and your pinky have to adjust. And I think it's a good stretch uh, and it's good for your hand health. Now I say that as long as you don't practice so much, so long, and really like gripping the bass tightly that you, know, you can strain a muscle, you can actually do damage. Practice until your hand feels nice and warm and you can execute it smoothly. As you're trying for maybe higher tempos, if you find yourself really like raising your shoulders and gripping the bass tightly, that's counterintuitive. Try to relax, try to breathe through it, play with the same amount of pressure that you played in the earlier, um, slower tempos. All right, so you just did the first measure. Now, the second measure, you just move this to the A string and you play f same pattern, but starting on the A string first fret, which looks like this. So you've got that. So if I just play the first two measures for you, it looked like this. There you go. So uh, there's two more measures, and this is where you just kind of do the opposite. You start with the first fret on the G string, play second and third on the D, pinky up on the G string, fourth fret, then index, back to the original two, and back to the pinky. So that looks like this. And then you would start on the first fret of the D string. So it's a good crisscrossing pattern. You're developing hopefully some new stretches. Um, and this is good for anybody. If you're a beginning player, you just got the bass, you're excited about it. Yeah, these are great. They're gonna get you familiar with the um, mechanics of playing the bass. They're gonna develop independence, flexibility, and strength in each one of your fretting hand fingers. Uh, and honestly, because there's a lot of string skipping, your right hand gets a lot more articulate and accurate. Uh, as always with before, forget the metronome for now.
Just memorize the pattern, try to execute it cleanly, and um, only speed up when you feel like you can play it consistently at a, a slower tempo. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the Encore item, which today, uh, I know I've been just putting up the graphics, but I had to show you how cool this box is. This is Judas Priest Metallology. You guys have probably gathered for now, uh, from the previous videos that I love all styles of music. Um, I find value and something to learn from every kind of music out there, every genre. So I'm gonna try to show you like the key influencers uh, in my development from every genre. And this is a great way, if you don't know much about um, heavy metal or you don't know much about Judas Priest, or you've heard a little bit of their stuff and you wanna get an overall big picture of their, of their entire career, this is a great box set. Uh, I just love it, man. It's like so thematically on point, man. You got the, the great studded box. But in here are multiple CDs that cover from their very beginning of Juice Priest through every album. There's, there's cuts from every album. There's cool little like um, live cuts, things you might not get in any other collection. And you get to hear the bass player uh, who, man, Ian is just amazing. Uh, for a guy that just plays this thunderous bottom end where the two guitar players can sit on top of it, uh, he's just one of my favorites. Um, love his groove, love his power, and his, like, I don't know, man, he is the foundation of Judas Priest. They've had many drummers, but here he is always, you know, laying it down and setting a, a great launch pad for the other guys to, to blast off of. Uh, on it also is a live concert from the Screaming for Vengeance tour, I believe. Um, and it's really a, a neat thing because I didn't see it anywhere else. And that's one of the things I wanted to actually see most was this live concert. So there's also a live concert DVD in here. Um, so if you want to kind of get into, like I said before, you, you, you've heard a little bit about Juice Priest or you're just kind of experiencing metal for the first time, this is great. Also, if you want to develop your ear for being able to learn bass lines off of recordings without having to rely on sheet music, you know, it's a great place to start. Um, you can really hear the bass on these mixes, and I think it, it's a it's a great launching off point for you being able to maybe learn bass, bass lines by ear. Um, I love it. Very good. So you have Technique Development Unit 7, you have Jewish Priest Metallology, one of my favorite uh, anthologies of my entire collection. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, man, nail them down in the comment section below. Or if it's something you want to send me that's a little more... Uh, you know, lengthy or you want to attach files, send it to dtitus at daletitus.com. Uh, and I'd love it if you would like this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, it means a lot to actually growing the channel. Um, it's, it's definitely exciting to see. Um, so please subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time I upload videos so you can add them into your practice routine, just hit the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. And as always, we want to grow this family. So share it with other bass players you know. Get them involved. Uh, I would love to get to know each and every one of you. In fact, you know, it'd be cool to try an experiment on this video. Down in the comment section, just let me know where, you know, what city, state, country, where do you live? Where do you call home? So we can kind of see the overall reach of this uh, community. Hey, thank you so much, and I will see you at the next video.